While many people are not working during the corona pandemic, police say criminals are working overtime, like this man seen on surveillance video entering a tobacco shop in Bay Ridge, then walking out, and he's not empty-handed. He took a tobacco and Red Bull on my iPad. That's a worker from the shop telling PIX11 by phone times are already tough for small businesses. And you can see this man smashing his way into a restaurant also in Brooklyn. The owner there tells us by phone he can't believe he's being victimized twice. He took money, break into a lot of stuff like in the store. I feel very, very sad. NYPD Chief of Patrol Fosto Pachardo weighing in on what's going on. You had some some people in this city who are capitalizing on that in the most outrageous way by victimizing them uh, and, and robbing them of additionally of their livelihood. Overall, crime is down in the city while New Yorkers are quarantined, except for murders up more than 5%, burglaries up 27%, and auto thefts up more than 62% from the same time last year. Underground in the subway, ridership is down, but police are still dealing with pickpocketing gropers. And that's not all. Retired NYPD Assistant Commissioner of Training believes the spike in crime could be a result of releasing offenders from Rikers Island. Uh, we have more criminal offenders on the street, and ultimately that could uh, contribute to the spike in crime in New York City. Um, until we end this pandemic and these businesses are open for business, it's going to be a free-for-all at a lot of these locations around the city. As far as small business owners, police say you should return to your shops as often as possible just to check on things and make sure you have a security system in place. In the meantime, if you have any information on the burglaries you saw here in this piece, we'll call Crime Stoppers. The number's right there. It's 800-577-TIPS. Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.